The TGC News coverage of SHOT Show 2016 is brought to you by Falcor Defense and Midwest Industries. Click the link in the description to learn more. All right, guys, you asked for this. This is the AK-50. I'm literally touching it. Are you jealous? You should be. So essentially, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update. I have had the opportunity to sit down with Brandon, the man behind most of this, and honestly, it's, it's really, really interesting to see it kind of coming along through the process. We've got now a, a break on here. I mean, this is, this is a complete gun per se. It's still in prototype stage. This is a non-firing model. Uh, they want to make sure that they get the design proper before going to that stage, but I wanted to kind of highlight a few things that I find really interesting. Obviously, this break is uh, not really something you see every day. It's pretty ridiculous. It's absolutely gigantic. You can see my hand against it. It's massive. Obviously, it needs to be for the 50 BMG, but um, I still think that's really interesting, and I, I can't wait to see how that evolves as this project evolves. It's got, I believe, a 27-inch barrel in it. I know a lot of you guys were like, you know, what's the stats? How's it working? Uh, apparently, the only two contact points on that barrel are obviously the gas block and the front sight block here. Um, and that kind of helps with the free float aspect of it. I know that's perhaps not a true free float free float as you guys would see it, but I still think that's pretty interesting for an AK. Um, and this is this is really close to what an AK is. And I, I, again, that's really interesting. There are a few upgrades like this uh, rear cover actually is hinged right here. And you know, guys, this is, this is just kind of taking the AK platform to a place that it's never really been. And I think that's really, really special. So, All right, so a, a couple of the other things that I find really interesting, obviously this, this front end is about where they want it. It may change a small bit, but it seems super, super rigid. Obviously, you've got a, a rail on the bottom, which you don't see a whole lot on, on AKs. The other thing, obviously, it's using Barrett magazines. That's pretty cool since they are readily available. And they've done something, again, really interesting out back here. They've set it up for an AR stock, and I think that's... Cool, because there are, again, so many options when you go to that style of stock that you can kind of go, okay, well, we're going to use a PRS. Maybe somebody wants to use a Luth AR or something like that, and I think that's really interesting. Uh, the other thing is this is a milled receiver. It's going to be a milled receiver in steel, and I know there was people talking about, oh, maybe a stamped one isn't going to hold up to that. Well, they were re never really talking about doing a stamped version of this. That's pretty silly. So the other thing is um, the bolt carrier kind of assembly is still being tuned, figured out, all of that, because, again, they want to make sure that it can handle the 50 BMG. This is not a cartridge that is uh, light in any way. It's ridiculous from the ground up, and uh, I think that's part of what makes this special. So in that, they kind of have to tune this gun, the carrier group, all of this to handle that beefy anti-material cartridge. So guys, definitely keep an eye on the AK-50 as it moves on. There's going to be some other things that I, I think you guys are going to really like. It's, again, early, early prototype. This is still aluminum. It's not quite steel yet. They're not quite ready to fire it because they want to do it safely. They want to make sure that when they get ready to sell this thing, I had said before that they were getting ready to take orders. They've kind of adjusted that and said, you know what, we want to make sure this is 100%, 110% before we go live with it. And I think that's really smart. So I'm super excited about it. I know you guys really wanted to see this. The AK-50. Here it is. So guys, if you want to learn more about the AK-50, you need to stay tuned to the AK guy on social media. I will tag that somewhere in the video. I don't know where. It'll just show up on your screen, at the AK guy, all one word. Uh, you definitely need to do that. You also need to go check out our sponsors for SHOT Show 2016, Falcor Defense and Midwest Industries. They've been nice enough to help us get out here and cover the show for you guys. So definitely do that in the description below. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon.